Where do we learn about 144,000? We learn about this group of people from the Word of God, the Bible. And so, if we want to know who the 144,000 are, we have to go to the Word of God. There are some that are confused about it. The Word of God is not. There are those who think they have to make up the 144,000 today. Well, the 144,000, according to the Word of God, have already been made up. In fact, the Bible says that they are sealed. They are sealed. <clears throat> so, we are not trying to make up the 144,000. In fact, the Bible tells us the exact group of people the 144,000 came from. It does not leave us to guess and to wonder who these people are. We know who they are. How do we know? The Word of God tells us who they are. And we stand by the Word of God. We have no other source to bring to you this message. We won't talk about the 144,000 if the Bible didn't speak of the 144,000. Right? We'll be talking about salvation in general. And that is something we need to do. But I just want to clarify this so that you're not confused and others have a bit of clarity on this subject. So, Revelation speaks of the 144,000. Revelation chapter 7. <clears throat> and if you look from verse 1, it speaks about uh, the angel that is you know, doing its work here and what it's supposed to do and what not to do. Verse 3, and saying, Hurt not the earth, neither the sea nor the trees, till we have seen the servants of God in their foreheads. And the question is, well, who are they? Who are these servants that are supposed to be sealed? Verse 4 of Revelation chapter 7, And I heard the number of them which was sealed. And there was sealed an hundred and forty and four thousand of all the tribes of the children of Israel. See? Now, are you still confused that the 144,000 is from the tribe of Israel? Well, you might hear some saying that we are spiritual Israel. And so, we have to make up the 144,000. Not so. Not so quick. You can read from verse 5 down to verse 8. And you'll see the 12 tribes mentioned here. Now this was not a modern day or a New Testament group of people. They were the children of Jacob. And the 12 sons of Jacob are uh, mentioned here. And you may not see a couple of them. You see some people say that there is a lost tribe. And so, um, you know, if there's a lost tribe, obviously there's a problem. But according to the Word of God, all 12 tribes are represented here. All 12. So from each tribe, make up from 12 times 12, 144,000. Each tribe had 12,000 sealed. We have 140 and 4,000. So, it is clear, if you read on your own time from verse 5 down to verse 8, you will see that the 144,000 are from the descendants of Jacob, the 12 sons of his children of Israel, the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. It is not of Gentile makeup. And we're going to see that as we go through the study. Verse chapter 14 of Revelation, 
and verse 4, speaking of the same 144,000, in verse 1 says, And I look, and lo, a lamb stood on Mount Zion, and with him an hundred and forty and four thousand, having his father's name written in their forehead. Verse 3. And this sung, as it were, a new song before the throne and before the four beasts and the elders, and no man could learn that song but the hundred and forty and four thousand, which were redeemed from the earth. These are they which were not devoured women, meaning other churches, other religion, for they are virgins. These are they which follow the Lamb whithersoever he goeth. These were redeemed from among men, being the first fruit unto God and to the Lamb. See? These were the first fruit of the gospel. These are they which, from Jesus' time, make up the 144,000 from the church that Jesus Christ built, starting with Israel. In fact, when Jesus sent his church out and his ministers, he said, Do not go in the way of the Gentiles, but to the lost tribes of the house of Israel. The tribes of the house of Israel, they needed to be saved. Just like many of us, we were lost. They were lost with a Christ. And so Jesus built his church and he sent them and they were from Israel. In fact, they were from his own people. And he sent them to minister this gospel to them. There is a good reason for that. They cannot say that they didn't know, they haven't heard of the gospel of Jesus Christ. So, the 144,000, uh, these are they that were with Jesus, these are they that accepted Jesus Christ. The word of God tells us that they are the first fruit of the gospel. They will be the first, they will be they will have a particular responsibility. And as the word of God tells us, they have a song, they sing, no man can sing about the hundred and forty and four thousand. Now, the question is, then where are they, uh, the, the house of Israel, where did James see Israel? If they're lost, if there's a lost tribe, what did James say? about this. In James 1 and verse 1, James, a servant of God and the Lord Jesus Christ, to the twelve tribes which are scattered abroad, greetings. See? They weren't in one place, the twelve tribes. He's writing to the children of Israel, wherever the gospel is preached, he's sending uh, greetings to them, encouragement, uplifting them in spirit, speaking about the life that they live and how God is good, God is uplifting, God do not tempt, God is gracious. So he was speaking to the 12 tribes scattered abroad. Verse 18 of his own will begat he us with the word of truth, that we should be a kind of first fruit of his creatures. And we know how important the first fruit was for the children of Israel, and the offering to God. <clears throat> From the house of Israel, the twelve tribes, 144,000 are called out and sealed as a first fruit unto God. So, if a tribe was lost, this was before Jesus' time. Now, James is talking about the 12 tribes. Revelation, the last book in the Bible, is talking about the 12 tribes. Who else talks about the 12 tribes? Paul also 
talked about the 12 tribes in Acts chapter 26. In Acts 26, if you turn with me to that chapter, Paul defended himself before King Agrippa. He's, he talked about uh, the manner of life he did live before, the kind of a person he was, uh, being a Pharisee of the straightest sect of the children of Israel, he was a Pharisee. But then Paul came to know Jesus. And so he changed his ways. He changed course. He was going against Jesus and the will of Jesus, persecuting the church, bringing people, men and women, in prison, consenting to Stephen's death. But when he accepted Jesus Christ after Jesus called him, Paul changed course. He was now being one persecuted as he persecuted people. And he stands before Agrippa in verse 7. He says, Unto which promise our twelve tribes. You see, Paul is talking about the twelve tribes here. The twelve tribes of Israel, not eleven. The twelve tribes of Israel. Instantly serving God day and night, hope to come, for which hope saved King Agrippa. I am accused of the Jews. The hope was Messiah would come. Messiah would bring freedom, would bring deliverance to Israel. Messiah did come. They did not accept Messiah, who is Jesus. Paul accepted Jesus Christ. And he is saying, all 12 tribes serve God day and night, hoping looking, longing, they missed the mark. And now they were about to kill Paul. They wanted to kill this man because of the gospel he was now preaching. And so he stands before King Agrippa and he saying, I was a Pharisee of the straight, straightest sect of, in Israel. I persecuted the church. Now I am being persecuted. Now they want to kill me for the very hope that all Israel had in Jesus. All 12 tribes, the very 12 tribes that are mentioned in Revelation 7 and Revelation chapter 14. We see the 12 tribes of Israel mentioned here. In Romans 11, in verse, turn with me to Romans chapter 11. Paul again is speaking about Israel's condition. In verse 1, I said then, hath God cast away his people? God forbid, for I also am an Israelite of the seed of Abraham, of the tribe of Benjamin. Had God cast away his people which he foreknew? What not what the scripture saith of Elias? How he maketh intercession to God against Israel, saying, Lord, they have killed thy prophets and dig down thine altars, and I am left alone, and they seek my life. But what saith the answer of God unto him? I have reserved to myself seven thousand men who have not bowed the knees to the image of God. Even so, then at this present time also, there is a remnant according to the election of grace. 